Okay, here's a little something for you all. Been playing around a little bit more with Laser Sabers Dual Ringer 2 or Super Dual Ringer 2 and been making some HHO with it. Now there's something a little interesting at the end of this that I'll show you, but um, to start with, just going to run it through a couple of little coils of stainless wire. I've just put one of these little AC capacitors across the two terminals. Of course we come off the emitter um, to one terminal and then off the uh, base side of the transistor through our high voltage coil and through the light and onto the other side to complete the circuit. So as you know from the previous video this was loud, um, running it off our 12 volt power supply. As you can see, no battery's nothing to do with it. Um, so we'll plug her on, get this thing fired up. You'll see I've got a little light here, that's just to show you what's happening a little bit later on. Um, so we'll get her going. Actually, Got this one hooked up long way around. Put that one on there so I can actually reach the terminal up here. And it does take a bit to get going with this capacitor in there for some reason. But uh, as before, I was actually doing about 500. Going through the hydrogen setup, it draws a bit less than it normally would, as you can see. We're making our HHO with what is supposed to be AC voltage, that is an AC cap. And, um, Definitely making gas. So it was interesting to note that running the circuit through the electrolyzer or our cell actually dropped the amp draw from about 600 down to 500 with no visible loss in the light coming off of the light. I don't have a meter, so there may be some I don't know, it just doesn't look like there is. So for those that you wanted to see, we certainly can make gas from laser sabers circuit here. We'll take it off and hook it on the other side. Slightly higher pitch. And we gain about 100 milliamps in draw, but the light doesn't look any brighter than it was before. Oh well, so we'll turn that noisy thing off. Disconnecting everything. So we've disconnected the circuit from the base through the coil out of the coil back to the emitter which makes this thing run right as you can see zero amp draw this is good so why is that working here's something else we're set on the AC setting here. So we'll put one lead on that circuit or the coil and then the other one to our emitter where it would normally go. We have 197, 198 volts.
which is very interesting. So our circuit is incomplete. The circuit that would normally go from the base through the coil, out of the coil, through the light, back to emitter, is disconnected, as you can see, and this thing still works. And we're pumping out light, and that is coming off that small coil I put on there. So, why does it still run? I don't know. Now, I'm not saying it's not drawing any current. Um, a gauge like this, you know, very hard to pick up 20, 30 milliamps. What I am saying is that it's running um, with the circuit that makes it go disconnected and it's producing a fairly substantial amount of power out of that secondary side I've put on there and we still have a very high voltage off of what should be hooked up to our light bulb. So just something I wanted to show you is, um, so laser saber, what's your circuit doing and why?